Lymph nodes are usually little kidney bean shaped little lumps. They're part of the immune system. There are lymph vessels that bring fluid to the lymph nodes. If there's infection, it will bring the infected material up to the lymph node where it will be trapped, where the lymph node begins to build up immunity toward that infection. When it does that, sometimes the lymph node gets a little bigger, gets a little tender. So what's a normal lymph node look like and where are they normally? The neck is very, very common. If people get a sore throat, if they get an infection uh, in the ear on the scalp, then lymph nodes in the side of the neck can get swollen. If they are rubbery and small, then they're going to be benign 99% of the time. If they get slowly bigger and continue to enlarge and they are hard feeling and they don't move it as much, those are danger signs. And that's a sign that you want to see your doctor. Your doctor will be able to get a biopsy and he'll be able to see what is causing that lymph node to swell. The neck is one area. The groin is a common area. If you have infection in the feet, it can go up and be trapped in the groin. If there's something going on that's bad in the leg, lymph nodes in the groin can swell. In the axilla, under the arm is another common place for people to have lymph nodes. That could be coming from infection in the upper extremity. Above the collarbone is a common area for lymph nodes to be. All of those areas are usually sites where infection has come, has been isolated, where the immune system works to protect you. If those lymph nodes are hard, not movable, uh, and keep enlarging, that's a sign. It must be checked by a doctor to make sure that it's not a malignancy. So those lymph nodes are an important part of your health. Pay attention to them.